What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh boy, we are almost ready. T minus four minutes, hopefully. It is still unpacking currently. So I'm going to take this opportunity now to thank Bethesda for providing the code for this game. Uh, they actually provided the deluxe edition or the premium edition. So thank you so much to Bethesda for allowing me to showcase this game to you all. I can't tell you how excited I am to get into here. Hopefully this is going to be a well-oiled machine stream, meaning that we're not going to have any problems, but you never know. Um, hopefully everything will work out great. And uh, we're just kind of waiting until the game finishes unpacking, of course. And we're sitting at 60% right now. So hopefully by the time it gets down to zero, we will be ready to start. Let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to. Let me know what type of builds you're going to do. Let's start some discussions here in the comments as we're waiting for the game to start. If you're watching this from the very beginning, just know that the gameplay will not start um, until it's finished loading. So probably a few more minutes or whatever, so you can skip ahead. As far as what I'm going to be looking forward to the most, I'd say I'm going to be doing a stealthy build uh, as much as possible. So any chance that I have to stealth enemies, that is going to be the objective. As far as our traits and things like that and skills that we're going to focus on, it's going to be a emphasis on being stealthy, um, having a good ship for ship combat, and exploration. That is going to be our main focus. Remember guys, these streams are going to be four to six hours long, so sit back relax. They're going to take some time. Uh, if you miss a stream, you know, the video is going to be available for you all to watch anytime you want. So make sure you go back and check it out. You don't want to miss anything, obviously. This will be pretty much the only stream that we do late at night. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, 10 a.m. starting every single day unless anything changes for whatever reason. We're going to be going all weekend long, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. Probably the weekend streams might even be longer than six hours. So, just to give you guys a heads up. I've definitely hyped myself up for this game. However, I know the expectations and the limitations of the game. I don't expect this game to be Star Citizen. I don't expect it to be No Man's Sky. I expect it to be uh, an RPG set in space. Uh, and I think if you go into it like that, then you won't disappoint yourself when you realize it's not going to be a simulation. All right, it's at 75%, so we still got a little bit longer. It's still moving along pretty well, but it's about 75% right now, so obviously we're not going to make the countdown, so we'll keep this screen up for a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the screens. Uh, there was uh, someone on Reddit who um, said, hey, if you want to use these star uh, uh, Starfield animations and stuff like that, then go ahead. So um, obviously, shout out to him. I do not remember his name, unfortunately. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, something like the Fallout podcast guy or something like that, I think is his name. But he made these little splash screens and stuff like that, so I hope you guys enjoy. There will be face cam, so hopefully you guys will be ready for that. Um, I also will sometimes have no face cam on as well, so there's going to be a mixture of face cam and no face cam so that you guys can enjoy the game as much as possible. And again, we will start just as soon as it is done unpacking. It's at 80% now, so it is almost done. I will definitely make sure to put, or if someone can help put timestamps down below, that'll really help out for like when the actual uh, start screen starts up.
Already at 50 likes, everybody. Let's see if we can go ahead and break 100 likes as quickly as possible. I would say for this stream, I would love before the end of the stream to say have, let's say 300 likes. Let's say we can do 300 likes before the end of this stream. That would be awesome. Maybe we'll break some records here for this game. That would be awesome as well. Someone's saying they can't launch on Xbox or PC. Well, some other people saying they were already launched into it, so I guess it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis. So hopefully we won't have any problems with that, but you never can tell. We're at 90%, everybody, so we are getting so much closer. Green Team, thank you so much for the membership for 30 months. Play the dang game. Love you, man. Spooky, membership for 38 months. Dang, she got you beat. Green? Slacking. I wish those things showed up on the screen. Unfortunately, they don't. But thank you so much. They at least show up in there in the in the chat section. 94% here we go. Watch it say, watch it go up to 100%, and then all of a sudden it'll say, you have 12 gigabytes to download. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to verify the unpacking. <laughs> Just never really know with these types of games. Green Team became a member. There it goes. <laughs> Just took a little while, I guess. Ninety nine percent. And now it says verifying. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Now it's got to go through and verify everything. Oh, brother. <laughs> but it's verifying at 230 megabytes a second, so it's getting through there. Give it a sec. <laughs> That's what you got to love about this, you know. Uh, get access to the game at 8 and you're not able to play it till 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Uh, I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Keep those likes coming, guys. If there's any type of gameplay you'd like to see, um, you know, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to incorporate what everybody wants. You know, this is... In my Let's Plays, they are... Um, they're audience-led, meaning that I, like, I let you all join in on the action, making some of the decisions. This isn't a walkthrough. I'm not here to guide you. I'm just here to um, show off the game and experience it at the same time that you all are. So that's the purpose of these. I won't talk during any cutscenes for those that wonder about that kind of thing. I try to make it as immersive as possible. However, my, my mug is going to be on the screen for some of it, but... That's the nature of the beast. All right, so it says we're going to have about five minutes left. <laughs> it's already at 20% verifying. So wasn't I was actually right. That's that's the hilarious part. I was literally right about after the unpacking, they're going to verify. <laughs> oh, geez. I can feel it. We're getting really, really close. No worries. I'm just glad you guys are here to watch and hopefully you guys had fun. I can say that I did play Assassin's Creed Mirage today for about two hours of gameplay. Um, so I will have that up to you all very soon. 
It won't take that long at all, so just be a little patient, and you'll get to see some gameplay for Assassin's Creed Mirage coming soon. How long will I spend doing the character creation? Oh, see, that's a tough one. Um, I know the type of build I want, so I'm not going to spend a very long time when it comes to building my character. However, when it comes to their look, it might take me a few minutes. I'm not just going to rush through it. Um, I want to show off everything and give you guys as much good content as I possibly can. We're also going to have tips and tricks videos, checking out cool things in the environment, those types of videos that we're going to do. So there's going to be all kinds of things that we're going to take a look at. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy all that. Also, if music levels, audio levels, anything of that nature has a problem, please let me know as soon as you can so I can fix it. If you can't hear my voice, maybe the game is too loud, my voice is too loud, something like that, please let me know as soon as that happens so that uh, all the levels can be done. Good. All right, we're at 50% already, so we're moving right along. Less than five minutes left. It says it's going to be about three more minutes or so. And then we will be ready to go. Now, I don't want to will this into existence, but I would literally have a heart attack if after the verification it says you need to download another 12 gigabytes. If that's the case, they should let they should let you have access to the game like 30 minutes before the time because it's going to take that long. Yeah, see, this this is the reason that I decided not to do a walkthrough for this game, because no one is going to have the same experience. What that means is that if I try to tell you this is where something's going to be or when you go to this planet, this will be here. That's not necessarily the case. This is a procedurally generated every single person's game every time you play the game if you start a new character things will be different as far as the story will be the same but things will be different as far as the layout of some of the planets and things like that so i felt this type of game is more centered around a let's play stream as opposed to a walkthrough we're gonna have plenty of walkthroughs coming up of course so keep keep an eye on for all the games that we're gonna be doing walkthroughs for um Obviously, Assassin's Creed Mirage is going to be a walkthrough because that makes the most sense to teach you guys how to get through the game stealthy uh, with some streams in there as well, of course. But uh, yeah, so you guys should know at this point if a game is tailored more towards a walkthrough or a let's play. All right, we're at 75%, less than two minutes left. And we almost, let's see how many people we have in here. Let's see, oh, almost at a 100. Guys, we are so close to 100 likes. Keep those likes coming, it's about to start. I know it's been taking a little time, but for those of you that sat here during this intro section, thank you guys so much for that. I didn't want to put all this in there because you know, once this becomes a video, then the first, you know, 10, 15 minutes of the video are just going to be this. But um, that's why I make sure we can see if we can have anyone do some time stance or important things to make it easier for those that are accessing this at a later time. Also, as soon as uh, I'm able to get the game going, it's going to be just a minute because I want to make sure that I put the correct settings on. So um, we'll go, I'll go through, make sure it's in 4K, and then we'll do an official kind of intro. Because we have a sponsor, so make sure all of you out there 
that uh, don't always know. I don't do a lot of sponsorships, but when I do, it's because I care about something and I want to show it off to all of you. So check out the video that we're going to have as soon as this thing starts. And if you have wives or anyone loves to read, make sure you check out our sponsor. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. They're literally completely helping us um, be able to create better and bigger content because of her. So make sure um, you check it out. Uh, the link is in the description, the Amazon link. So uh, it really helps the channel. And that's going to be our sponsor pretty much at least until the beginning of the year. Ooh, it's close. 96%. 97. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. Done. And now it's downloading. And it's done. Okay. <laughs> it was about to start downloading something else. I was about ready to start freaking out here. All right. So the good news is we are good and golden there. So I am going to bring up the game now and start it. And like I said, I will have everything situated here in just a second. Okay, that's the first time I've ever brought up uh, a, a game and it, it, it brings up a different game. Oh my god, it's not letting me play. I think I'm going to have to restart Steam. It's still blacked out. Let me restart Steam real quick. All right, there we go. Boom. All right, the game is coming up. I do need a sponsor command, yeah. I'll have to do that for the next stream. Give me one second. Okay, let me set up my settings here real quick and then I will start it. Just so you know, there is no uh, HDR, it seems like. Difficulty, I'm going to put it on hard. We'll go over that once the game, once I have the game on. Okay. Ice, I think we're ready. Not ready just yet. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez.
almost done here. Okay. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Starfield. I am so excited to finally be in here playing Starfield. I hope all of you are as well. Hello, I'm your host, Sinistrina1. Big shout out to Bethesda for providing the code and allowing me to play this for you guys early. So big shout out to Bethesda for that. Uh, I'm just so excited to play. I know you guys are all excited to get in. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in here. First off, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor. So I'm going to take this moment to do that. Today's video is brought to you by the book series Chronicles of the Warlands. There's a total of 10 books. This is the first book called War Prize. Definitely recommend you check it out. My wife absolutely loves these books and a significant other, or maybe yourself likes to read fantasy style books. This is perfect for you. Also working on a new series, but obviously we can't uh, put any details of that out just yet. She's gonna be the sponsor for a while, so make sure you check out the books. I'll have the links in the description. Okay, so. Let's just go ahead and dive in. So here we are. This is the PC edition. We'll go into the settings and let you see exactly what I'm playing with. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for being the sponsor uh, on the channel for the next few months. Guys, I really do think you all should check out her book series. Uh, start with the book War Prize. Uh, it will really help the channel out and maybe you'll find a new author that you really, really enjoy. So definitely check that out. Uh, the link is in the description. So with that being said, here we go. As you can see, I've got everything set up to ultra the highest settings it could possibly be. Um, film, film grain. I'm going to go ahead and turn that all the way down. I don't like film grain. I'll leave that. It's what it started with. So we'll just leave that for now. There is no HDR in this game. So, I mean, it's a little disappointing. I wish there was some HDR. Gameplay wise, we're going to play on hard to give ourselves a little bit of um, a little bit of help. I'll turn down the game volume slightly and we'll see how that goes just to make sure you guys can hear everything correctly. But let's go ahead and jump in. What do you say? New game and away we go. Bethesda Game Studios. I'll play the sponsor again thing. Sorry, I, maybe the video got messed up. I do apologize. I'll play it again. Soul date, May 7th, 2330. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, We'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. 
Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. I suppose having a good feeling about this is better than the normal Star Wars, I have a bad feeling about this. All right, guys, you know me. I am going to take my sweet, sweet okay. time. Let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. All right, yeah. I, I want to give something out of the way first off, right? We're going to be very thorough in this walkthrough, so I'm letting you guys know I've got my thing on the screen right now that tells me the frames that I'm getting. This game is frame locked, from what I can tell, at 60 frames, okay? So people might think that's a good, people might think that's a bad. I'm just letting you know that it's frame locked. Um... Even it out? Okay, I will bring up the game a little bit. Again, just keep letting me know. Uh, I can adjust things on the fly. Uh, yeah, so the game is essentially, it looks like frame locked at 60. Know what I love about working in freestyle collective space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Dreams of red. Yeah, the detail in this, everything, it looks really, really good. You wouldn't even be able to tell this is a Bethesda game. That's how good this looks. Hopefully you guys are seeing that quality in 4K. I'm just this game running through these veins pretty quick. It feels very smooth. Very, very smooth. Look at the detail. I love the, the cave detail. Come on, with me. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Alright, so here we go. We've got the cutter. Energy uh, level four. Round zero, it's not like a weapon, or fire rate 76, range 3, accuracy 76, mass 4, value, and mods, so. There we go. Press mouse 1 to fire. Let's go, let's, let's get the party started. We're a miner. You think we'll be done here soon? No, I hear this is the last dig. So, it would be really cool if you can actually take a job as a miner and... You know, you go to excavation points with with people. You do it as like a real job. I do. I did hear something about in one of the reviews today that said um, you can literally take jobs at places, and then you have to go through kind of mundane tasks that lead to bigger, bitter, better promotions, more story, bigger missions, like in that job. So that's a pretty cool aspect if you can do it more than just that one that they were talking about. I'm busy. So. Obviously, it's very simplistic. I mean, all you have to do is this. Whereas in Star Citizen, it's more simulation. There's a lot more into mining. Ready, boss. Get back up here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Guys, don't go into this game thinking... More digs to go before I feel like talking to you. ...thinking it's going to be Star Citizen, because then you're going to be disappointed. It, it's not that type of game. It's meant to get you into the action. It's an RPG. It's time. You're with me. 
All right. Uh, how do I... Well, it hasn't really told us yet, so I guess we'll keep this out for now. And just like every PC game, you know, the, the controls, obviously, you have one speed. I don't know yet if pressing a... There you go. So press cap locks to slow down. Hey, what's up, Lucas? Remember, guys, you can support the channel by becoming a member, Patreon, all that stuff. Helps us continue to do what we love to do, which is bring these types of streams, games, to you guys early. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. All right, so the game volume needs to be turned up even more. All right, I'm going to turn it all the way up, guys. If anything happens with the game volume, let me know if it's... Okay. You don't? I got it all the way up now. It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Remember, the link's in the description. The best way to donate if you do want to send a super chat or a tip... Those links are in the description, as well as becoming a Patreon or a member. I think, yeah, everything is just, well, in seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hel? Let me check one thing. I'm gonna check the audio in the game, and see if I can. Okay, there we go. Let's turn up voice. Music doesn't need to be that loud. Master, we'll keep all that stuff up. Uh, through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Okay, pressing tab goes you, gets you into the settings menu. At least as of right now, maybe we, we don't have like a... Probably we don't have a map or anything. Yeah, we have nothing available to us, so... And again, caps lock allow you to uh, run or walk. Hold F to turn on your flashlight. I could possibly switch to controller at some point during this let's play uh, to see um, how they all still play. Still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do you see anything? And away we go. So, I'm pressing E. Oh, you gotta break it up first, okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Way to go, strain. Gosh. Messed up the beginning of the game, because I'm an idiot. Reminds me of Mass Effect, you know, when you touched the first mission, you know. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Camera went out. Oops. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Yep, so it looks like the camera, for whatever reason, decided not to work, and I'm not going to worry about it, so no camera for right now. Um, I'm playing the uh, Premium Edition right now from Steam. Alright, so you move around with the right mouse button. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're going to take some time. Let's start out with uh, one. Wow, that detail looks really good. Can you zoom in? All right, so no zoom in. You can rotate and change, but you can't zoom in. Uh, all right, so let's start with the biometric ID profiles. Pick the old lady. You all picked to be a male, so we are going to be male. 
I do like that hair right there, though. It's a little long, but... Oh, that looks good. Wow, man. I hope, I hope I'm showing off this game in the quality you guys deserve. I did not sabotage my face cam. <laughs> it just stopped working. You guys saw it. kind of going through the motions here. Give me a quick sec. All right, let's switch over and see if that fixed it. I don't know if it did, but there you go. You guys can see me again. Happy <laughs> as I take up the screen. All right, I, I put it back on there. The character models look really good. Definitely the best Bethesda has done, which should be the case. There's the obvious model from the um, Direct. We'll go through here. I don't want to spend too much time, but I also don't want to rush through these. Looks like there's 40. <laughs> Looks like a mullet, almost. <laughs> All right, so I think I liked this one that we just passed. That one. I think I could go for that one. Obviously, I want to change the hair up a little bit, but let's start out with, uh, I guess, that right there. Um... Changed by visiting the genetics facility, okay. Alright, and you can go back and forth uh, by pressing Q or T. Alright, so let's go... You can change your... you can be muscular, thin, little heavy set. That looks good. We'll go with that one. So we got body type one or two, obviously male or female, or you know whatever you prefer. My mistake. Walk styles one, two. I'm gonna go with one. Skin tone. Now I wish you could zoom in here. It's a little darker. A little darker. I'm gonna go with that one right there. I like to think that my guy gets his tan on. He gets his tan on. He's a little muscular, gets his tan on. Man, that looks so good, dude. Okay. Yeah, I think I said four. Yeah. Whoosh, that looks so good. All right, head shapes. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, we could create a Chad. Hey, look, everybody. It's Chad. Okay. Okay. I feel like I uh, like four. Now you can also hit the E to refine. So, oh wow. You, they're giving you all those options. I think right there looks good. Yeah. All right, Harry. This is the part where we're gonna probably spend the most time in. To be honest. All right. Wow, the hair actually looks decent. Oh, that's I like that. So nine is one possibly. That one's not bad. We got the Patrick Mahomes in here.
Man, that actually doesn't look bad at all. The Justin Timberlake. The way it moves. Realistic. I do like that one too. Dude, man. <laughs> Give yourself like a mullet. I mean, how perfect is that? Jeez. Like, I'm a rocker from like the 1980s and I'm like from London, yo. That's the shagadelic one. Obviously, we're going to change this throughout our playthrough, so don't think we're going to stick... Don't think we're going to have one, and then that's it. That's not going to be what we're doing here. Uh, but, as far... Let me... Okay. Obviously, we're not going to spend a lot of time... You know, our character doesn't speak, therefore, I don't need to think about this too much. But I did like that one. I think it was at the beginning, right? I gotta figure out where it is. I gotta look at it from this side. Yeah, I think it was that one. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the simplistic that look right there. Obviously, you've got your different hair colors. You know, this is the most we're gonna be uh, spending in this, so... I wanna make sure we get a thorough look at everything. Okay. Gonna go straight up black look right there. Alright, facial hair. As you can see, I got my beard growing pretty nicely. Uh, let's see what we got. We got just baby face, some stubble. Ooh, some good, good beard options. That looks really good. Huh, not bad, guys, not bad. I just wish you could uh, select, like, the lengths. Kind of want to go with um, a little unkept because I'm I'm a little unkept. Like my hair doesn't grow in the same spots, so we're gonna go with that one right there. I think that feels feels good to me. Oh, we still got even way more. Okay, and you can change your facial hair color as well, obviously. Wow, there are a crap load of options here. So let's go, is it 12? No? I think it's that one, it's about the closest to black, I think. Okay, eyes, here we go. Ooh, you can really change some things up. So we've got down or up, let's give it a little down. Narrow or wide, you can bring them in, bring them out. Bring them out just a little bit, scale. Up the size, the actual size of the eyes. Back and forward, this means like as far as inside the head or outside of the head a little bit. Let's bring them out just a little. And now you've got shape blends. You can see how that's changing some things. I like that. But, let's go ahead and take a look at these other color, other eyes here. So, wow, that really does make your character look different. Really ages them. I'm gonna go with right there. I'm down again a little bit. I'm out a little... Right there. Alright. 
Eye collar, here we go. I think I like this eye collar. I think I'm probably gonna stick with one or with seven. Lots of options. Seven, maybe I even go a little lighter. That's two. I think we'll go right there. All right, so we did that eye color. All right, eyebrows. Okay, let's see. I kind of like I kind of like that one. You can refine here. Bring them up or down. That's good. And color, obviously. You guys know the deal. It's just color. So we're going to go with black color. Right there is good. All right. Forehead. Wow. This is literally the most in depth. I've ever seen a Bethesda game. This is crazy. I'm not a big fan of one. Um, I don't mind that one. I think that one looks fine. Nose. We're gonna stick with one. I'm not gonna change too much of the nose. Ears, I do like to have big ears because I have big ears. So we're gonna make our ears stick out a little bit. And we are going to make them a little wide. Because my ears are very I know you can't see them right now, but that's just how it's just how mine is. So I try to go realistic sometimes. All right, I think I saw the one I liked. Let me go right there. Mouth. Hmm. Yeah, I think one's fine. And you can change all this stuff too. I'm not really. You can have an overbite, underbite. Scale it up a little bit. Down, up. Let's go down a little. Here we go. Man, that's really starting to look good. You can even do your teeth. I never understood why you get the option of doing this because you don't really see your character and they don't talk. I think it's awesome they put it in there, but just like in Cyberpunk. I don't really see the point, but they give you the option, so. Obviously, you can't really see much of this because of the beard. So we'll go with five. I think that looks somewhat... Right there is fine. That's a good chin, neck. That's good. Jewelry, all right, here we go. Accessories. Gonna go right there in the left here. I I remember when I was a kid in high school, I had um, 
I had accessories. I had ear ear piercings. But I had to get them taken out because of military, so couldn't have them anymore. All right, so what is this? Uh, Darum aesthetic. Okay, I see. You get a lot of choices. I'm just going to go with one. That's fine. Complexion, I'm keeping that way. My blemishes, I'm keeping. Um, dude, should I go for Big Boss? What do you guys think? Should I should I go Big Boss? Although it's the wrong... It's the wrong eye. If they got it in the other eye, they like that one, yeah. Wow, they really thought of everything in this game. Alright, let's start back over again. See, the one I like the most is that one, but I want it in my right eye. Because I'm blind in my right eye, so... I guess we'll go... I don't know, I don't like that one as much as... that one. Because look, he's got that thing there, so it makes sense to put a scar in his eye. Yeah. Hmm. Four is good, but I don't want it in that eye. That's the problem. If I could get four in the right eye, then I would love it, so we're going to have to go with that. It makes sense to have that up there. That's why we got that. We're just going to keep that to... Nothing. All right, tattoos. Here we go. Man, I, I was not... Actually, guys, I'm very surprised. I was not expecting it to be this in-depth. I really wasn't. I knew it was going to be in-depth, but this, this is, like, way more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. We're just going to go no tattoo. Don't really know what that does. Oh, I see. Uh, we're not doing no makeup, no eyeliner, no dirt. All right. There we go. There's our character, guys. What do you think? <laughs> not too shabby. I think he's looking rough and tough like a stealth guy. All right, so here we go. So, 30 minutes later. <laughs> That's what's going to be. We're going to be taking our sweet time with this game, and I hope you guys will be in it for the long haul, because we're going to create some awesome content for this game. All right, so here we go. Backgrounds. You can choose one. This is the one we've all been waiting for. Hopefully all of you out there actually watched my... Um, my traits and uh, background videos and stuff like that. Uh, so you can get a sense of what each one of these are. Bounty Hunter is one that's really cool. Cyber Runner is most likely the one that we're going to pick. Uh, homesteader, Long Hauler, Pilgrimage, Weightlifting, Piloting, Ballistic Weapons. That's a good one if you want to spend a lot of time ship piloting, which is something I want to do as well. Um, Ronin, Dueling, Stealth. See, that's it. So see, Ronin... Consider to be most uh, melee. I don't really want to focus in melee. I don't. I don't really care too much about melee. So that's why I think cyber runner, stealth, security, and theft. That's what we're going with. I mean, I think it was pretty, pretty easy that that was the one that was going to be. But you can see there's even more down here. Um, space scoundrel, piloting, persuasion. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so we've got space scoundrel and cyber runner are the ones that I am seeing. Or you could do File Not Found. You get a plus in Wellness, Ballistics, and Piloting. Alright, I'm going to let you guys choose. Right now, you all 
Help me make this decision. All right, are we going Cyber Runner, Theft, Security, and Stealth? Or are we going Space Scoundrel, uh, Pistol Certification, Pirating, or Persuasion? What do you guys think? Because this is a tough one for me. The reason I want Persuasion is because if I'm going to try to get out of fights, if I'm going to try to stealth, I need to be persuasive. I need to be able to get out of certain situations. Now, I'm sure you can probably build a persuasive type character from the start and you don't have to worry about it but it looks like all you guys are leaning more towards cyber all right so we're gonna go cyber runner oh don't worry i'm gonna get into the homestead stuff as well so i i assure you all right traits alien dna here we go so these traits are optional you do not have to pick traits the reason traits can be bad is because they do have a positive and a negative effect so like say dream home, like I don't necessarily know if I'm going to pick it, but you're deeply connected. But so here's the problem. Dream home costs 125,000 credits. 100. OK, first of all, I'm doing kid stuff. But I will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. 2%. That's not bad. I'm doing kid stuff. I want to be able to visit my parents. I want to feel like this is a simulation, even though I know it's not that type of game. We're doing we're doing kid stuff. Uh, the other one, Neon Street Rat. You go on the streets of Neon, you gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions on Neon. Crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. Can't be combined. Crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. So that's your downside. So as of right now, Neon Street Rat. And maybe I'm going to, let's see. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased while in space. Why do you need to worry about oxygen in space because you don't um now does this mean like your suit do, does your suit have an unlimited supply of oxygen or something i can understand it on a planet but when you're in when you're on your ship you don't need to be in your suit you can literally just be in regular clothes i would assume so that's tough um taskmaster Certain ship systems allow to repair itself to full. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go with that. I'm not going to go with any of this. I want to pick as I get there. I am kind of an introvert. Um, I do want to be with companions, though, so I don't want... I don't know. I kind of want to pick Dream Home. There's no space walking in this. This is not a simulation, guys. Um, I kind of... I don't know. What do you think? Wanted. You do extra damage, but then you're getting hunted. I feel like if you're a stealth character, you're going to piss some people off. And if you're going to piss some people off, you're going to get wanted. I think we're going wanted. So people are going to be hunting us, but that sounds fun to me. There we go. We got it, ladies and gents. Kid stuff, neon street rat, and wanted. We are ready to go. I am super freaking duper excited about this i'm sorry i've taken so much of your time just getting through this but this is a very very extensive walkthrough and i will not apologize for that again so i hope you're ready for it ladies and gents it is go time it's you okay i'll read alien dna for you you volunteer for controversial experience and combines alien and human dna as you start with increased health and oxygen but healing and food items aren't as effective i wouldn't want that because i think Healing and food items not being as effective is in, as fun. Uh, so I wouldn't pick that. Although it is a cool start. That is a cool one. I will say that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Name. What are we going to call ourselves? So here's the thing. They put, they put a bunch of names in here. So I'm going to put in the name that I put in for every sports game that I play. Uh, whenever I put a name in so instead of putting center strain or my real name, we're going to do this instead Christopher Kent Christopher because Chris is my name uh, Kent because my favorite superhero is Superman Clark Kent so we're gonna go Christopher Kent and with that being said um
Oh, I can do that too. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, I don't have a thing that lets us... I'm guessing you just hit enter. There we go. Oh, then you can switch. No, what the heck is going on? Yeah, Christopher Kent. Name, character, oh, you can change your pronouns with B. Gotcha, she, her, they, them, all that good stuff. And then we're just gonna go ahead and press R. Christopher Kent, here we go! You were one of the weirdest hires I've ever had. From hacking computers to digging for minerals, you're lucky our turnover rate is so high. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Alright, so again, my camera went out. I'm just gonna leave it off. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. There was this light and music. It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Everything's blank. What... what is that thing? How about... It was in... It was incredible. Like... Like a dream, or a vision. Easy there, High Flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Yep, camera's still, as you can see, the camera's going in and out there. <laughs> it looks like I'm drinking something. So, no more camera, guys. I'll try to have it fixed next time. I apologize, but no camera. You've seen enough of my dumb mug anyways. On approach. What? All right. The explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. All right, so we're going to search around here. Oh my god, guys, we're playing Starfield. Come on. We're freaking playing Starfield right now. I don't I don't even Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, I'm just so freaking thrilled. Remember everything in here you can essentially take. This is a Bethesda game, so you can search and lock. I mean, there's just... It's unlimited on what you can Whoa. do. You don't look good. Okay, so, uh, control allows you to... Uh, get down. Vacuum tape. Wire spool. I mean, I'm gonna take some of these things because you never know what you actually need. Was that a bag we can get in? Yes. Space undersuit. Okay. Uh, cred stick. Oh my god, we're literally stealing. <laughs> Unless I'm just gonna assume that this was my locker, and no one cares about that. Yeah, right. Wow, look at this deed. Oh my god. Hell, are putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? Look at this. You're lucky. I've been with some outfits that didn't even bother packing medical. I am... I'm just... You take care of yourself out there. I'm flabber freaking gat. Look at the detail in all of this. Snack pack restores five health. Ping pong ball. This item can use component for crafting, so yes, I'll take it. We're gonna get overcome before we even get in there. I don't think I need to take every spacesuit. Digipick says its value is 35, so I'm gonna take it. This has been a good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Dude, if you could take a crap, but this is not a simulation game. You're not gonna be able to take a crap. I can take the toilet paper. Oh, it just says flip. Oh my god, you could flip. Oh, you could flip the freaking toilet paper. I'm running this on an RTX 4090, just so you know. You could flip the Our toilet paper. So good at picking sight. Oh man, all oh, the this time. <laughs> all the like people were pissing off with the toilet paper. So I like toilet paper. Okay, whoa, oh, stuck now. There we go. <laughs> I like toilet paper um, essentially 
Let's see, when I grab my toilet paper, I grab it like this. I prefer it with it out like this. Some people prefer in. I prefer out that way because I'm left-handed most of the time. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it out, you know. It's the little things in life that really matter. Ooh, a personal groomer. My god, I'm gonna be overcome some just just here, I can already tell. I'm trying to get things that Man, it, this place looks freaking lived in. Completely lived in. Treatment. Used to administer medication that treats uh, afflictions. Alright, so we'll take that. Trying to get through my shift. Hey, what were you doing? What were you doing alone, huh? What? Ah, oh, I'm working. Not interested. Whatever it is. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Deep mining spacesuit. Okay. Yes, now I can finally get into this, guys. Like I said, we are literally going to be just doing everything. So this is what our character looks like right now. You can move them around inside here. Uh, there's our missions, our inventory, skills. That's going to open up sometime later in the game. Star map. And also, that's something that'll open up a little bit later. So we do have a local time. I don't know exactly how quick time moves in this game, so we'll figure that out. You get the local time, and then you get the universe time. So universe time is different than local time, just so you guys know. Uh, certifications, it tells us 0% skill points, but we have stealth. Um... Currently, Cutter. All right, let's go ahead and check out our inventory. We did get a deep mining space suit, new items, so there's the Cutter. Tunnel mining pack. Helmets. Okay, there's that. Uh, there's that space outfit that we picked up. Aid, resources, miscellaneous. You can see how all of that works. We'll get more into that deep really really deep customization as we as we move on so you can go into quick save just by hitting uh escape it looks like um yeah all right let's go so we searched here is there Don't any get other too used to how easy this has been next day might be toxic hazard or... like we're really searching everything you everybody. got somewhere else to be hey busy I did not look to see how much weight here. Mass. Okay, so we got a total of 135. We got 37 so far. Each item has a specific mass for us to add. Supervisor's log. It's day two of Argus Extractor's Vectera dig. Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us. 18 hours, including the elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to rebudget for new equipment. Again. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always. And completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. Ugh. Calvert remains the weak link. He just can't train away stupid. But she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, we've still got the Dusty. And there's definitely some promise there. Really like how they do their audio logs. Look how the detail they put into these. That's why you search around, folks. Yeah? Take my advice and pack your own suit next run. You always want to be the one choosing your own gear. It's good information. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
You can dodge a wrench. Dodge a ball. <laughs> it's just, it's just literally taking everything here. All right, guys, I've wasted your time enough. I Like I said, I really want to look around. Chapter three. I'm going to be reading these things. We're going very, very in-depth for this, just so you guys know. Chapter three, mining suit maintenance. I will also be doing all the dialogue for my character, so we'll try to make it as immersive as possible. Of all the hazards that exist out there in space, you'll find yourself easily forgetting about CO2 buildup in your respirator. That's a huge mistake. Even a small amount of CO2 is going to add up over the course of your day, sapping just a little bit of life out of you when you need it. Running is harder. Swinging that cutter around takes one more huff than you want. When a tunnel collapses, you want to be moving as fast as possible and across as long distances. Invest in a good helmet. Trust me. Oh, sure. Just take my stuff. All <laughs> yours. <laughs> How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? St oh, can we use the staple gun? <laughs> can that be our weapon? I'm gonna sell all this stuff, obviously. Uh, busy. Okay. Talk to you later. Lynn sure seems to like you. Oh, you can also switch to, to, to third person. The boss. Uh, okay, that's how you bring it. Okay, so V brings up your weapon. R puts it away. Q brings up your uh, inventory wheel, I guess. E talks to things. T, uh, shift. Z, that's V again. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out, let me go into the uh, controls real quick. Um, bindings, here we go. All right, that way you can figure this out. So throw grenade is G, makes sense. Melee is V, activate E, reload, sheath weapon R, power Z, hand scanner is F. Toggle POV, mouse three, so the click of the button, okay? Mouse wheel up, you can zoom in your camera, jump, sprint, sneak. Hold to run, toggle, auto move, open quick keys, Q. And then you have your quick keys on your numpads. Uh, there's a quick load and a quick save. So quick load is, or quick save is F5. Quick load is F9. Let's test that out real quick. So I'm going to hit F5, quick saving. Now I'm going to hit, I'm going to move this way, F9. Yeah, there's my, oh, ho, 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 baby. Look at our character and look at us. My God, this is so immersive. All right, so just so you know, when you move, your camera is oriented with your person. So wherever you move the camera will actually move the entirety of you. Um, so you have to let go in order, you can't, essentially meaning that you can't be running and looking behind you at the same time, essentially is what I'm saying. Damn, does that look really good. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna spend all of my time in third person or first. When I'm going around my spaceship, I already know I'm going to spend most of the time in first person, because that makes sense. But I think when I do combat, it's probably going to mostly be third, because I want to be able to see my okay? character. Mining crews ain't the friendliest, but they're good folks. Yeah, right. I'm very confused coffee or something. why he Got continues here somewhere. to look right. There he goes. He's not looking straight ahead of him. That could be a little weird. Because he's not even looking where he's going. <laughs> he doesn't... I don't know if he's focusing on something. He's definitely focusing. It, mu it must be a bug or something. Because he's like focusing on something over there. You can see this still works the same way. You don't mind if I take this, do you? Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Now I hear this is the last dig. I'm busy. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Be glad when we're off this rock. 
Okay. How they suck are you to do? Yeah, he still wants to look over there. Let's I don't understand that quite yet. Why the guy is so... I don't know why he wants to look to the side and not straight ahead. <coughs> well, that tablet's gonna... That's a pretty penny. Soil box? Uh... Okay, let me make sure... Okay, well you can run really fast. Got some playing cards. Alright, let's go. Again, it's so weird how he just, he just wants to look in a different direction. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Dude, why? That is really irking me. How this guy wants to constantly look to the left. Client is here. Let's go. <laughs> it's it's really weirding me out. Select the area in the lower right to access your inventory. Select the helmet category. And how do we equip though? Drop favorite sort, inspect, select the deep mining helmet. Okay. Press and hold tab to exit. Okay, that is just freaking me out, man. He just wants to, he just keeps. I know I feel like I'm... Something's up. Something's got it. Something's weird. Look, he just keeps looking to the dang left. Okay. Maybe that's just where he's focused on her because that's his mission at hand, I guess. I think it's a bug. I think it's just following where it wants us to look for the tutorials, my guess. See, look, now it's perfect. So, yeah, I think that's what it was. Oh, just so you know. All right, so we have. OK, so you can click in the mouse three, the mouse wheel to go between first and third person. You can also just zoom with your mouse wheel. See how we zoomed out? You can zoom into a close third person and then first. So you can go for further away and a little closer. Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? You could, uh, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits. The music is so I'll good. Be happy to never see this thing, or you ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them.
Okay, combat feels pretty good. Okay, that's the only thing that sucks is I haven't quite figured out. I think you gotta do... Alright, so that's the biggest draw so far. Right now, switching between weapons. I think once I pick that... ...specific weapon up, I can no longer, uh, I don't have it on a... You have to go to here to do this, so let me see this. Compare, inspect, sort, f favorite. So I'm gonna click B to favorite, and then we'll put it on... ...one. And then we'll put this on... ...two. There we go. Okay. Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. Oh, I tell you what, though, it felt pretty good. Combat felt pretty good. You cannot take their space. Space gear. At least from what I can tell, their their actual outfits. Um, got modified. Let's take a look at some of this. I'm gonna go ahead and favorite this as melee. We'll start at four. We got Eon, Maelstrom. Modified seems to be a little bit better. So we'll put that at two. Um, yeah, because that one has 11 physical damage. Uh, utility outfit. I think we also picked up Space Trucker Hat and a Space Undersuits. Argos jumpsuits. Nice. Okay, I think we're good. Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Anything else? coming out of our pay. Believe me, if the suits start talking about shared liability when we get back, I'm out. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Now well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Let's see. Oh, I feel like we got to do, uh, uh, I didn't ask for this. What is Constellation anyway? You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. If they can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. Marvelous. 
Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. What about the mine? Don't you need me? Now that we've been attacked? Oh. We've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. Again? You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Taraj, thank you for becoming a newest member. So that that gives me a little kind of an iffy feeling there. Hey, look. When he said the word again. Watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Thank you so much, Taraj, for becoming the newest member. I do appreciate you. But that's interesting. It's almost like we're in a time loop or this has happened to someone before. All right. Why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. You're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Who are you? What's Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a... loot collector. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. Oh, here we go, ladies and gents. I feel like we got to do a slow walk. Wow, look at this. Let's get a good look at the ship. Up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. The graphics should not be blurry. They're not blurry at all. Let's do a walk around our ship here. We're probably going to be spending a few hours in this ship. I don't know how long it's going to take before we can upgrade. Man. All right, we're going to switch to first person. Let's head inside, ladies and gents. Here we go. Can we actually talk to him? It appears Captain Christopher. <laughs> Indigo is in effect. Captain Christopher, I'll guide you as best I can. Good luck, Captain. So it does your first name, but that's all right. Here we go. That's one small step for man. We do not have a body in first person. But it gets generated in as soon as we back out, so. 
All right, so here is the lower section. Now there are plenty upon plenty upon plenty of. Oh, what's that? We got multiple. Might as well take everything in here. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of loading screens, so just prepare yourself. This is not... See, that was super quick, guys. Captain Christopher, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the PC version, which is why you're seeing this in the utmost quality. All right, thank you, York, for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, let's check a look at uh, inventory food items. All right, so we've got miscellaneous, ammo, aid. These are, you can take a look at these. You can inspect, let's inspect this sandwich. Get a really good sense. We can zoom in on the bread and the detail. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen bread like this detailed in a video game. I don't know about you, but that makes me very, very hungry right now. <laughs> All right, so if we want to eat it, though, I think we just have to click on it. It'll restore four health. Yep, I see it there. Cheddar! An apple square? <laughs> just going to do this until we get our health back up. Oh, so we got 220 health plus 200 damage resistance. So we don't want to use the heart plus or the injector, probably. Because those are things you want to use in different situations. So let's keep up with the snacks. Little sparkling water. And that's about it. We got a bunch of med packs, though, so we'll keep that for later. Now, we can probably sort this in favorites, so... Let's, let's get, I think med packs are already favorited. Um, I'm going to take off my, yeah, so we're going to go with the jumpsuit here. The space trucker hat, looking all good. All right, now let's see how, what we look like in third person. Oh, you still have it on, whoa. So, no, I'm pretty sure you can. Did I, like, not do that right? Let me... Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure I clicked all this stuff to be on. Um, compare to equipped, inspect, sort, drop. Yeah, I, I hit it to be on. Maybe we're just because... Hmm. Maybe because it's the beginning. Helly, thank you for the uh, subscription. It's got to be maybe because it's still the beginning, and that's why. I don't see anything that I can do as far as. Maybe I need, I can, that, maybe I got to take that off first. That's hide spacesuit in settlements. There we go. I bet you that worked. Yep, that works. Okay. All right, there's our character. Let's look around our ship a little bit. Josh, thank you so much for uh, the membership. All right, so we got pots and pans. Bunch of food items. Thank you, babe. Snack items. Yeah, we're going to grab all that. Obviously, we want to have as much of those type of items that we can. 
You're going to be able to make your ship much, much bigger than what you see right here. But for now, this is pretty much as big as it is. Is this the lavatory? Yep. Okay, well, a little bit, a little glitchy there. Okay, some weird glitchy stuff right there, but... Barrett Personal Slate. Well, hey there, irate pirates. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face, and then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing, except my ghost. Cause I am gonna haunt your asses till the end of your days. Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about what? Uh, another week? I love, so far, absolutely love these. Now, my question is, do you get to keep them? So if we go to our inventory, Notes. Are they in notes, maybe? Barrett personal notes. Sweet. So you get to keep these and be able to listen to it anytime you want. Nice. All right. Let's take a look at skills. You received one skill point, or you received one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then send, spend a skill point. So you got to complete the challenge and spend the skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in the category. Seems simple enough. And you already see what we've unlocked. We've already unlocked theft. Watch out because you can go outside of the game and go to your second screen. So if you have a second screen, just be careful. You also have stealth. see all of those and we're gonna get into all of that a little bit later of course we don't have anything to do right now so there's no reason really looking I want to sit on this again and see wait B what is okay so you can wait sit here on the crapper for a little while if you want It's kind of weird. You'd think they'd fix the animations for that right there. Kind of gets in the way, but not that big of a deal. Only if you make it a big deal, I guess. We got another Barrett. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances. In short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel the Discovery Class Starship Frontier back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. <laughs> I love it. Research station. There's our bed. You can actually take it. You can equip it, although it's broken and says don't use. Soil box. Med pack. We're not going to take everything all the time. An old earth baseball? Maybe this is all Barrett stuff. Man, everything looks so good though, right? Oh, gosh, this looks so good. The detail. I really hope that, um, that I'm, I'm streaming this in 4K at 25 megabytes. So I really hope it's being showed off in good quality. Let's check out the jump seats. Love the animations for everything.
We just picked up something. I want to know what that is. There you go. Remember, guys, this is an RPG. So, yes, there is going to be a lot of reading, a lot of information. All right, here we go. I know I've taken so long just to get out of the tutorial area. The rest is up to you. Okay, here we go. So we've got take off with space, exit ship with X, and get up with E. So, well, you only live once. Achievement unlocked for all into the starfield enter space for the first time. Oh, yeah, baby Now that we are in orbit it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure I can step you through the entire process or if you're already an experienced pilot just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way all right, hold left, alt, and use to switch between systems and allocated power. So. Hold left, alt. Slow down. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, they'll be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Is good. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Oops. Press E. Don't hold down E. Sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> Don't hold down E. Jumping into our 
location tempted. away by the combat so far it actually felt really good the only thing is i'm so used to playing games like star citizen where you can you have also uh, you have six degrees of freedom when you're moving around like where you press space and then your ship can go up or you press control it can go down you can move left and right here you get essentially uh roll and yaw really that's about it um you do a little bit of roll when you use the mouse like this but you get most of your roll if you use the mouse and left or right then you can move you can slow down you can speed up you can go all the way up if you want but if you keep it in the white that's going to be your optional turning speed uh, so keep that in mind now my other question is i don't think you can just continue to go I see there, you see it says it's one light second away. I don't believe I could keep pressing forward and we would eventually get there. It would take like a year to get there, but I don't know if you can do that or not. I mean, we're gonna test out all those theories and stuff um, a little bit later. So here we go. Right there is Crete. You can slow down. You can see from here and you can travel to it. Or you can go into here, and then, I believe, what do they say, star map? Well, let's take a look at our ship first. So, we're going to be very, very extensive gameplay on this, guys. I'm not going to rush. I'm going to take our time, and we're going to do this right, all right? So, I just want to make sure you guys know that going in. If you want to see someone get through things very, very quickly, finish the game super quick, this is not the channel for you. So... Here's our ship. You guys see all of that grav system. So shields, energy, missiles, ballistics, and lasers. So lasers are done with the left mouse and ballistics are done with the right mouse. Uh, at least that's what it is so far. Uh, select system, ship overview. We have a total of 50 fuel hole. Is it 218? Um, it's gonna cost five credits to Reef, I guess, repair everything. Um, what else? That's all the spots we get to put into those. E eventually, they're going to be able to go higher and higher. We can jump 16 light years. Our shields at 310 max. Uh, our ballistics are much better. Lasers are good for, I guess, taking down shields. And we have 47 missiles. 
Our ship costs 59,100 credits. I don't know. We'll just say credits. And the mass of the ship is 359 meters. You can move it around. And you can zoom in. That's awesome. Wow, you can zoom in this far. Dude. This is our home ship. You're going to be able to have more ships that you can make your home. The detail in this is... My lord. Cargo hold. I'm going to hit F and see what happens. All right, so this is what we've picked up from our cargo field. Our, uh, this is what we picked up from taking out some of the ships, essentially. All right, so we're going to back out of that. That also gets added to that. Uh, crew. Obviously, there's no crew. This is where you're going to be able to manage them. But we don't have anybody just yet. Current outposts. So you're going to have crew in different outposts on your ship. I mean, guys, this game is just... It's mwah. All right, star map. Travel between the stars. Zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see all the stars of the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to jump to a closest star first. All right, so this is the planet. Oh, I'm gonna spend a lot of time in this map. And it just moves so smoothly too. So there's the star, there's the, the thing you can, we can land back on there. That's where we were. You can land anywhere you want. For shits and giggles, I want to click there. Fast Traveler is currently unavailable to this location. All right, so we can't, we can't travel, We okay, so it's because we're, you know, it's a, it's a tutorial so far, so it's only gonna let us do certain things. So that's how you can show resources. You can see where different, there's nickel there. Nickel, aluminum. Now we can zoom out. There's also show me. I don't know what that does. You can zoom. Wow, you can zoom in pretty, uh, pretty close. So you click on the different planets, and that's how you can get around. There's a gas giant. Obviously, you're not going to be able to land on gas giants. It makes sense, doesn't it? Um. Yeah. Let's take a look at the star map. Now you can zoom in and you can move it around. You can zoom in like that. All right, you, so you can see that uh, there's our ship. There's a star station. So what I'm going to do is if I can... Oh, we can't. We can't do it just yet. We got to go through the motions before we can do it. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and just select it. This is where we're going. Crete Research Lab. Set a course to Crete. is so I'm just in heaven everybody I really am so you can just hit E there's Crete tells you right there open planet map press R the planet view the starman gives you information about the environment lets you scan the planet for resources rotate the planet until the research lap is on there let's do a scan Okay, we're going to click on it and land. 
There we go. Remember, guys, there's going to be a lot of loading screens. This is not a seamless survival game. Just keep that in mind. That way you don't set yourself up for the right expectations. So I can exit the ship right now if I wanted to. But I think I would kill myself literally if I did that. So we're going to get up. All right, before I get down there, let's go ahead and equip our spacesuit. We only have one. Okay. Here we go. We're in our spacesuit. Okay, we got that weapon all loaded up. That one's all loaded up. ready to go. I am going to play this as if it was a simulation. Most of the time you're going to see me get in my spaceship, go through the motions like you would as if you're playing a true space game. You know, you can also go to it really fast and quick and you don't have to go through all that. You can get out of your ship immediately. I might do that sometimes, but for the most part, I want to stay to the realism of what it would be as if I was really there. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Here we go. Captain Christopher, Protocol Indigo, dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Why is the Crimson Fleet captain after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. <laughs> Makes sense. Just who are you in Barrett? What's Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Why is Barrett trusting me with this ship? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos, so technically you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Let's trade gear. I am ready to commence a trade. <laughs> so random. Uh, 3KV LZR. What the heck is this? Take inventory, sort, take all, inspect. What is this? I'm going to take it. Thanks. <laughs> All right, that's one small step for man. Whoa, oh my God, the the atmosphere. Oh my God, the gravity in this. The gravity, watch this, watch this. Whee! Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Oh, our first alien life. I don't have a scanner, so I can't like scan things yet. We're going to do all kinds of stuff in that nature later, obviously.
Oh my god. Alien oh. creature. We can, okay. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Uh the scanner mode also unlocks additional features. Often unpredictable. Photo mode, here we go, baby. Oh. Oh, that is awesome. I heard that these photos that you take they're part of your load screens when you're loading in between places. So let's see what else you can do. Brightness, saturation, filters. Gosh, this is awesome. Let's see textures. That's really cool. Themed. You can put frames. Okay, frames for your pictures. With logos. Awesome. Truly, truly awesome. So, there we go. You got to get close enough. In combat. Hey, whoa, back up. By pressing zero. Oh, I'm still in. I did not want to take it out, but it kind of made me. I wanted to just scan it. Okay. A learning process as we get on. I didn't want to take it out. You know, I, I don't want to be that kind of player, but it looks like it's going to be the nature. I don't like health being on a zero. Why would you want health on a zero? I think it's better to just do that, to just pause the game like this. Let's see. So it slows down time and then hit it. That's going to be, I think, your best way. Tells me the resources for this planet. Flora, fauna. All right, I'm gonna quick save here and see if we take any damage from this fall. I couldn't tell. Did you? Did I take any damage there or no? There, 
We didn't take any there. Alright, can we zoom in? So how do you zoom in? Maybe you'll get that ability, but we don't have that ability just yet. Did you see that? When I had the scanner on, it actually gives me waypoints on where I'm going. Hey, let's go. Remember guys, I said I'm going to play as stealthy as I possibly can. As it will let me. Obviously, the beginning isn't going to be as stealthy because you're still learning the game. Why did the chicken cross the road? Huh? What's a chicken? Knock knock. Who's there? Planet? Planet who? If I throw a party, you will help me plan it. Oh my god, that's gay. Well, sorry, that's... That's a bad... Yeah. That was... Sorry. <laughs> my bad, please. I'm sorry, that, that, that was a Freudian slip there. Ecliptic mercenary says to a woman, I've been hired to kill you and always get the job done. Woman says, can't we talk about this, son? How do you keep an idiot in suspense? And there's no answer. How do you get a free star collective hick out of a tree? Wave. Okay. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in free star collective space. Yes, I have stealth for reason mm -hmm. that this was once a secret UC facility. We could take I was gonna say we can we take the chair? Oh my god, we could sit in the chair. Oh, that is so cool. Red Rover, Red Rover, we dare someone over. I'll let you guys pause this. I'm not going to read all of that. It's the power of the pause button. Hello. Oh my god, that was, like, very satisfying. Hey, I'm taking a desk fan. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna be over. Oh, man, I'm gonna pick up everything and probably making a big mistake by doing that. My life, chunk by chunk. Yes, you just saw one of my melee weapons. Kind of hard to be stealthy when you got that big... big guy walking around there. Sorry guys, there's just so much to grab. Let's let's get stealthy. So far nobody. Where's Clank? I saw something. See that green thing that comes around hidden? Is that sound or something? I don't know what that green... Oh! We got a dead body. We got some enemies up ahead. <laughs> we have not lost them. They knew exactly where we were. So I'm gonna have to get used to this game. Captain, the enemy is here. Brock, thank you, Superman. Gosh, I say the gunplay is so good, so much better than Fallout. Oh, I got plenty more. So smooth. Thank you so much, Brock. Whatever happened to COD Fridays? Yeah, we need to definitely bring that back. Ooh. That was super fun. 
And thanks for being a member, man. Nothing like finding a little milk in the bathroom. Oh, we can open up all these. Oh, that's awesome. Toilet paper. Yeah, let's take some toilet paper. Why not? Ooh. It was in the crapper. Yeah, they did. They spotted us very, very easily, even through that window. So we're going to have to be careful. I do wish that there was a lean, but as you can see, there's no lean, unfortunately. It's an RPG, though. I mean, it's not a survival game. But... There's just so much stuff. Man, you just get sucked into trying to grab everything you can. Oh, there's a safe, but I don't think... No, we got Digipix. Okay. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until the lines line up. So it's not that one, so you can undo, okay. Let's try this one. It's not that one unless it's this one. Good. Two really, really close to each other, but it's not gonna be that one. There we go. And last but not least, Okay. Awesome. And that was actually done really well. Okay, I'm probably getting close to being overcome. Yep, 117. So I gotta I gotta be careful because I've already got so much. one of those games where you're going to get in to, to this stuff quite a bit. Brock, I will. Okay. Okay. 
Let you guys pause that whenever you want. I'm getting really close. I got to stop picking stuff up. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get this close. Plus eight for eight minutes. Let's go. Ooh, that's a new pistol. Okay. And a modify so it's a laser pistol. So rifle, three damage per ninety rounds. Ammo seven point seven millimeter. That's different than that. Sweet. So we've got this too. So why don't I go ahead and put that as number three? And then we'll do we'll check out this rattlers a tin. Why don't we do that as five? I'm looking for grenades. I'm guessing they're just automatically kind of slotted and you don't have to worry about. Are they in ammo? No. Aid, Eon, Telemining, Deep Mountain, Argos, Distraction, Jump Cheap. Throwables, here we go. Frag grenades. Uh, I got one in a fragmentation mine. All right, here we go, guys. Ah, so you can stealth. But I don't have a stealthy weapon. I could do a frag grenade right here if you want. Why not? works level up baby okay so we got one skill point theft uh... oh I gotta do 10 sneak attacks I could have went up there and did a 10 sneak attack stuff made Weightlifting, fitness, boxing. Ten percent more oxygen. Maybe weightlifting. Carry weapons and equipment. Increase total carrying capacity by ten. Definitely want that. I think that's going to be good. So now it's 145. Nice. Let's see. He's got some 
Base suits. I got a Pyrus. They're both 69. Better thermal, better corrosive, airborne 15, and radiation 0. Mass 7.5. I like the look of it, though. You ran out of O2 further. Exemption will cause O2 buildup. I don't know what that means. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. Whoa, something's out there. Alright, they're on to us. I am picking up faint signs of life in the area. <laughs> you got it, Death Witch! <laughs> Exterior damaged. Alright, I could have taken him out though. I could have stealthed him. I wanted to stealth him, but I think stealth's out the door. Long time to reload that weapon, just so you know. There's that. All right, so let's take everybody out first. Wow, the music is awesome. Why oh, is that coming from over here? <laughs> you think? I feel like that should have been a stealth attack. I don't know. You think that that counted as a stealth attack? Perform 10 sneak attacks. No, it didn't. Starfield is hella optimized on PC. Just look at it. It's running smooth as freaking butter. I don't- I don't understand how you can get any smoother than what this is right here, honestly. Super smooth. And I am thoroughly freaking impressed. New- ooh, hello. Oh, baby, look at that. I don't get a lot, but... Looks nice. Alright, let's go. Guys, there's gonna be stuff to pick up everywhere you go, and I do not want to sit and make this game so slow that picking- just getting inside a room takes 50 years. What do we got here? Tried and true medicine used to treat affliction, bandages. You can craft, okay. We don't need to craft anything right now. We've got plenty of stuff, so that's how you craft. I wish you could eat something, like, right now. Like, instead of take, you automatically eat it. All this stuff is used in crafting.
I'm gonna be seen. Wait, what was that? You see how the stealth thing works, though. You get it. You understand. It's gonna take a while to. We ain't done yet. I'll, I'll be okay. Oh shit! It, like blew up on me. Dude, this game is. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. is just so good. I'm s thoroughly impressed by the gunplay in this game. Thank you for the tip, by the way, Josh. I appreciate it. Control interface. It just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. All right, you're saying that there's a safe? It has a silenced pistol. Where? Well, let's find this safe that you're talking about here. All right, so... Okay, we can try that one. No, it's not that one. Maybe this one? Not that one, because there's only one, see? Try this one. No. So there's there's just one. So the last one is four. You see how this system works? I hope you guys are, like, understanding. That's not that one. No. Not that one. 
Uh, I need just one. This one has to be one. It's not going to work unless it's one. It won't let me do it. Oh, that sucks. You can see, all right, but you can save scum during this, so. I've got no digipix. I can't get into the ammo case. What? Are you kidding me? Does that mean I can't do it? Does that mean I can't get... Was there a, um... A silenced pistol in there? Or is it... It's gonna be a safe? If I don't have any digi... Things, then I can't do it, right? I already missed out on that. I tried, I feel like I tried them all. You gotta remember to save before you, you do those. I don't see any safe, if you're talking about a safe. And I don't see any digi picks either, so... safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi fix and a disregard for personal property rights. Oh, nice. All right. Saves coming to the rescue. Okay. Again, we did it again. We can't do it. Because there's... A if it's that one, but... See, did your pick removed. Nope, that one doesn't work. Yeah, I think we did it though. All right. Uh, I th wait. You said there was a pistol in here. Ain't no pistol in here. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably different for everybody. All right, so we're going to have to go in here. I, I do wish the inventory system was a little bit better. Because it really does suck that you have to go in here. Every single time.
All right, here we go. I don't think there's any way we can get around that. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? What's your problem with Barrett, anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That Constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Persuade, there's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices that you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. I have three turns. Here we go. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The Frontier creaks when it turns anyways. Here we go. I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? That's, uh, not a bad point. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. Nice. You should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. I'm doing a little quick saving to see how close I can get to them. Can we search around a little bit? Whoa, that was awesome. We successfully navigated our first encounter and we don't have to do a big fight. I do not understand your attachment to all these objects. Man, just look at this. This is awesome. I'm, I'm so overwhelmed and I just don't know what to do because there's just so much so much, you know, it's going to take hours and hours and hours to beat this game. We're encumbered right now, see? Yeah, that's why every single time we run, we lose our CO2. So we got to be careful and don't run. We can only just really walk. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but we do need to sell some stuff. Can't believe after all this, we get nothing. 
Hey, you're alive, aren't you? Although I do want your helmet. Um, Alright, so it said hit F. Then what did it do? Look for the map icon of your ship and press E over it. Oh. Wow, they thought of everything. Oh, we're carrying too much and we can't fast travel. That's... That's hilarious. Alright, uh... And have to get rid of something here, so we can actually move. What <laughs> I don't want to get rid of anything, but... I got two deep spiny... I'm gonna drop one of them. And see how that did. 149, okay. Um... Mass is only 130, that's not dropping enough. Oh, you can give the robot stuff to carry? Can you? That would be interesting if you can. We need to reach the Alphas. May I take yeah. some things? That's right, you can. Let him hold a few of these weapons here. Let's see, what else? Just do it all. There we go, that's 1.65, so I can give him... What am I at now, though? 140, there we go, okay. It's a learning process. We made it. Captain Christopher, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Yes, I look at chat. Do not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. All right, so you can fast travel directly from the mission menu to press tab. No. Yeah, if I don't answer your question right away, it's because I'm really trying to pay attention. It says that we can repair the hull with zero. With oh. There we go. Alright, so my question is, do we get closer to these things? Or no, remember, you can hit E and it'll help you select stuff. See? I, the only thing is, like I said, I don't know if you're able to... Alright. 
We can do it that way or we can do it this way. We're gonna do it this way. Toggle which crest is tracked on your HUD. Only one crest can be tracked at a time. You can press set course button to automatically navigate. Okay. Oh, dude, there's just so much stuff. Grav drive. So we need to say we can take some. you could look around the ship when you're here but I don't think you can so this is outside of this planet there's all kinds of UNC transports okay or you see you can hail let's see what that does I'm listening just giving this place a survey I want everything in your cargo hold your your settlers then What's that like? It certainly got its perils. Knew a homesteader once who didn't do his research. Decided to settle down on a patch of land he thought seemed nice and quiet. Was real surprise though, come the spring. Or as they came to know it, mating season. Extremely loud mating season. Heard anything interesting? No homestead is supposed to be an interesting visit. See how folks survived way back in the 2100s? Don't know why you'd want to see that, but hey, you asked. Okay. Just a little taste of what you could get into there. Alright, we have got... New Atlantis, civilian outpost, and there's also a moon. Here we go. Jumping right in. I know we've been taking our time, like I said, but we're going to get into the, the flow of things. so good jeez all right so with this being said should be able to go to my inventory there we go I think I have to take this off like that just hit T is really all I have to do no It says show spacesuit in settlements, so I'm gonna get used to this all. It's a little confusing right now, but I'm just gonna have to unequip it like that. There we go. Okay. Let me guess. Oh, 
is your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Where did you say I could sell some things? The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Where can I go find uh, some crew members? I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Let me see what ships you have for sale. I'm sure you can find something you like. Obviously, we'll get into this more later. So we got the Rambler, and it's 57,000 credits right now. is only 3,000, so it's not like we're going to be able to... I wish you could... get into the ship and see. That would be cool. If you could, like, take a test... Not a test spin, necessarily, but... jump into the ship. So we got Rambler. Jeez, that's a big ship. The Gladius, nice. Responder, must be like a medical ship. Achilles, ooh. Shield Breaker, oh my god, we're gonna have so much fun with these ships. But you ain't gonna be able to see it until about six years, because it's gonna take us that long before we actually... Okay, no problem. Let's see what the modify thing is. We got our frontier here. You can go into the shipbuilder, you can upgrade, which I don't think allows you to make improvements to your ship without needing to worry about what modules will be placed. Some upgrades may have levels or skill requirements, small spills can be made, okay. So you can upgrade your weapons, but we ain't got no money for that. Grab jives. Reactors, shield generated, engines, and weapons is pretty much it. Doesn't say anything about your adding like a, uh, adding an extra thing. Uh, what about the ship builder? There is if you decide it's invalid, okay. Like, <laughs> oh, this is, jeez. Add a sh protective shield. She can add more shields. I just wanted to get into it just to take a look at it. I'm not doing anything, obviously, yet. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. All right. He said just to the left of. So once we go down there, I guess. Trade vendor sell. So the vendor has five thousand. So, let's start, uh, selling some stuff. Rebels, notes, resources... Let's go... All, oh, okay. I want to sell, not buy. Vendor sell, yeah, right? Why does it say Q to buy? There should be things in mind, right? Vendor. Sell. Yet this says buy. Let me see if this buys or sells. Okay, so to buy, I gotta hit Q, but here I can just do this. Star Locker 27. We got a lot of miscellaneous things here. Um... So far, the, the inventory system is the only thing that really... I 
I don't want to sell anything that can be used for crafting. Okay, you can sort by name, by value, that's good. So these are the things that are the most expensive. I'm not going to be using this weapon, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Okay, that's good for now. We're just testing systems out. Yeah. Captain, Constellation will be weak. How can I be of a... Why does that say buy? I want to sell, not buy. Why does it say buy now? I don't want to buy. I want to sell. Oh, that's how- okay, that's just switching back and forth. Got it. Okay. There's also... Let's get in there. Hey, what can I do for you? I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. You Here we go. Wow. I mean, this looks so good. Wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Welcome to New Atlantis. Hey da. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. So it looks like there's loading screens for every building that you go into. If you'll excuse me. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Ooh, a job. Tell me about it. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave, Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Definitely, just tell me what I need to do. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have any security experience at all? I had a run-in with the Crimson Fleet. I don't know if that counts. It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need you see security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Ooh. What's MAST? You know, MAST. Uh, the Military, Administrative, and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city. Headquarters of the entire United Colonies. I really should have given you a more thorough interview. 
You mentioned Aegis. Who are they? Aegis? They're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. Did for tat. You know how it works. Love the voice acting. Why am I bringing this package here and not Aegis? Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. No game-breaking bugs. No bugs at all, really. Let me know if you have any questions. I know your type. A free-willing space ace. Must be nice. Take it all in, everybody. Wow. Haha, <laughs> you can swim, baby. Oh my god, this place is massive, dude. Jeesh. Sorry, I gotta take pictures every now and then. You can sit everywhere? Oh my gosh. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Hey, Kronos, how you doing? Yeah, this game is just... Wow, I'm so impressed. And it's hard not to be. I mean, just look at how big all of this is. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. We just need to convince her that President Abeo isn't the same as her predecessors. That an adversarial The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Another mission? Oh my gosh! Wow, dude, listen to the sounds. It really feels like this is something. I am telling you. 
I gotta test something. <laughs> I gotta test. Yes! We're taking damage, nice. That's awesome, so... Yeah. Yeah, I saw IJN gave this a 7. Yeah, I don't- it's like they went in thinking it's a different game. They don't- I don't know. Everyone thinks games- they have different opinions on stuff, so... Who am I to say anything in particular? You know, that's not- It's not for me to say. I've got a brand new system, a 4090, um, 13900K, so that's why I'm able to run this super easy. Welcome to New Atlantis, capital of the United Colonies. You guys can pause all this. This is just a side mission right here that we're kind of moving our way through. Wow, man. Guys, I'm just... Oh. It's so overwhelming because everything I see just excites me more and more. increase in accuracy. Hope it's enough for Commander Mitchell. The security of the United Colonies is every citizen's responsibility, but we try and do the bulk of the work. I hope you're not here to report something. If you are, it means you've seen far too much. I was asked by UC Security to pick something up. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Thanks, I guess. Oh, it wasn't a compliment. Just an observation. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. So as far as the hardest uh, Hitman game, I would say Absolution, probably. Um, what do you mean the location's been compromised? We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it and are using it to identify field agents. Normally we just burn the location but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Why meet with me personally? Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. Got it. Just tell me where to pick it up. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. 
The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. What is it that you do here? I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in MAST. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. Ah, oh, I love the voice acting. Your name is Plato? <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. Uh, as far as what my character skills and stuff are is stealth. Um, I'm a cyber runner or whatever you want to call that. So I'm going with a stealth build, essentially. What's Aegis? We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. You see security response to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. Well, if you're going for the, the most difficult Hitman, it's going to be Hitman 2 Silent Assassin by far. But Hitman Absolution is tough because of the way the system is set up. But Hitman 2 Silent Assassin would be the toughest, toughest. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this, your first day on the job? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just giving you a hard time. I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. Yes, it is my first day on the job. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve and we're the good guys. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. Man, it just looks so good. It must, uh, let's see, it must be hard. How many agents do you have working for you? That's a level of detail I can't get into. Don't worry. We've got plenty of good people working hard. You get used to it after a while. And it makes the occasions where you can all the more meaningful. All right. Good luck with the mission. All right, we got to try something. I'm a spy. No more missions from you. All right. I just, you know, I just wanted to see. That's the game. This is Bethesda game. You can literally do anything you want, man. They don't care. You can ruin entire quest mission storyline, shoot everybody you want, do your thing. This is a free game where choices matter and you can do what you want. Oh, it's just so beautiful, though. Maybe I should switch from terror for tranquility. Less caffeine, more herbs. Okay. Pretty easy first simplistic mission here. I'm so behind on those reports. I'm going to drink nothing but terror brew and pull all my destroyers. Loading screens are pretty quick. How's the investigation going? Still have questions? Go ahead and ask. I've got your package. 
Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Glad it worked out. As am I. And the best part is, since you're all part-timers, there's no paperwork. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Right, here we go. So now we're back on there. All right, so let's continue on. Obviously, we're going to get into all types of side content, but let's go meet the Constellation crew. We're not going to explore anymore. We're just going to go ahead and you can see the gravity here is a little different. You can pretty much... Movement is very smooth and it just feels good. They're very fast. Third per third person mode is very good. I really like it for fighting. One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis. Notice in your left, you got CO2 going down when you stop, or should I say your oxygen's going down. That's kind of like your, think of it as like your stamina. You see that scientist out in front of Mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Oh my god, another mission. <laughs> this thing just throws missions at you. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Man, this is just beautiful. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Captain Christopher, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, please. It's ridiculous. He's just bet I'll ever win. You what I'm suggesting is so outlandish. All the phenomenon we see out in the stars, and what I'm saying is that we appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Pirates attacked. Beard asked me to deliver to the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? How many times has this happened? Who else has had these visions? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. It was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you 
you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Kaiju, if you expect us to believe in fairy... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Most certainly I do. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. One thing I do wish that they did, like Mass Effect, where they separated dialogue. Meaning that all dialogue that can be kind of, uh, how, how do you say it? Um, Exposit, exp, ex, ex, expositive, or whatever would you want to call that, um, that leads to kind of talking more and, and, and kind of asking questions as opposed to getting straight to the next thing. If they could separate it left and right like they do in Mass Effect, that way you can learn more information if you want, or you can get straight on with the story instead of trying to figure out which one is going to do that. You want me in Constellation. What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Alright, level four, so we should have two skill points. Okay. Remember guys, we can't do We still haven't done any of the sneak attacks that we want to eventually get up. So what else are we gonna do? So we got weightlifting. Rank one. Sprint for a thousand meters while at 75% or more of your maximum load capacity. Gotcha. That's how we can increase that. So this is something I definitely want to focus on. Being being 75% of what I have and then doing a lot of sprinting will help me to achieve that. Um, what else we got? Wellness, fitness, boxing, theft. Let's see. Successfully pickpocket five times. Uh, persuasion. Here we go. Unlock this rank to increase. So definitely want to do this. 10% chances of uh, persuading someone. 
Now I need to do three successful speeches. Astronomy, commerce, ballistics, dueling, lasers, missile certification, shotgun, astrodynamics, geology, medicine, research, surveying. Pick five locks. We've done two already. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock on enemy ships, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. We'll stay clear of that one for now as we go on. Sea piloting. As more people journey into space, the number of those certified to effectively pilot various types of spacecraft has increased. You can now utilize ship thrusters. Boost pack, personal mobility, you can now utilize the boost packs. We'll do that one. Okay. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Seeing how you're doing. At present, all systems are functioning well within established parameters. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Neil Armstrong, look at that. You mind putting your signature on some documents? So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Thank you for the subscription, Reality. Subscription, I appreciate it. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? 
Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Organic stuff. I can't be certain that they will, but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Okay, let's take a look. All right, I do have some, it looks like. I can, let's try, um... Alright, just so we can get a feel for everything. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. All right, so we got new mission there. The vision I saw, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Sure, I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now, but we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses, and he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. All right. Stay safe, okay? And have a good night, Kronos. All right, so this is, this is our room. We actually have a location. Specifically for us. Nice. Looks like there's a safe in here, too. Oh, it's a storage. Okay. There's the watch case. <laughs> Local is 1916. Let's sleep. Oh, it's 1522 right now. So we don't need to sleep yet. All right. Conceal. It says inaccessible, so... Plus, I'm not going to be that kind of guy. I don't want to steal from everybody. As I continue to steal. Visit the Apollo landmark on Luna. 
Nice. thinking of things to sell so I can make more money, you know? Dude, you can just easily tell you're going to be spending a lot of time in menus and things of that nature because of just how open this game is when it comes to this stuff. You guys can always pause those to read everything. We're just taking money like it nothing. What are we doing mass wise? We're already almost okay, sweet. So if I sprint, I'm just gonna keep sprinting. I know this is gonna look really stupid. Alright, see? Now the CO2 gets built up, and now you see that our oxygen's coming back, CO2 is going back down. And now you see how that works. Permanent reduced fall damage by 5%. Our first skill book. It's gonna look really stupid, everybody. Yeah. Okay, the reason I'm doing that is because if you go over here to skills and you go over to weight room, weightlifting, sprint, 435 meters, we need to get to a thousand so that we can increase our comp carrying capacity, which we're going to end up doing eventually just by going around, you know, and exploring. So it's not like it's not going to happen. I'm going to take the trucker liner. There you go. Alright, so who else can we talk to? Let's get to know some of these guys. Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. Business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Just a bit. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Craft or modify an item. See, this isn't where I expected to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. 
I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home, as much as anywhere else. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Huh. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar, in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covered them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Bye. All right. I like how we're learning this all this information. All exciting, but there's really a lot of you pressure on us, isn't there? Personal question, Walter. We have to get this right. You know the Are you like, doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well. An explorer, like you. It's really good to have you with us. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but... You know, if the label fits. It has to be. Right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. I'm really digging the story so far. Take care of yourself. I know, guys, listen, this is an RPG, so for those of you that think it's going to get to the point quickly, that's not what RPGs are about. So it's a slow burn, and it's going to take time to get into the game, really connect with it, feel it, understand it more, give it that chance, and I know when it opens up, you're just, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. Something you need? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else?
We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies' space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. Ooh, okay, so she's gonna be locked with us if we continue. <clears throat> we'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk-takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? All right, we have our first companion, everybody. Oh, we've done it. We're moving along. And it feels like it's taken forever because we're just uh, exploring everything, so. I am at your service, Captain. I'm guessing that means she's gonna, yep, she's gonna follow us wherever we go. Ooh, it's nighttime now. That's right. Let's see. That says 1706. I'm going to wait about 20 seconds. And then I'm going to see what it says. It was 1706. 
Now it's 1707. Okay, so it takes about 10 seconds is a minute or so. We need to go to Mast. So, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's going to tell us, yeah, so. That's how it always tells us where we need to go. Might as well run. Weightlifting, you can see it's almost getting up there now. Which of you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? and to uphold the values of the vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy? I, I do. do. Then I'm proud to welcome you to the vanguard. Now, you all have your assignments. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra. Vanguard's open to everyone. You see born, or otherwise. You look like you know how to handle yourself, know how to fly. Vanguard might well have a place for you. Ooh, another possible job. By the way, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Apparently, he's got some work. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. I'm one of MAST's resource officers. It's my job to ensure those here on official business get where they're going promptly, and that any rule-breaking is dealt with swiftly. This? This is MAST, the beating heart of the United Colonies. Every decision made in the civilized galaxy takes place inside these walls. Most of MAST's employees have extensive training in their specific areas of expertise. But if you're interested in joining the UC, Commander Tuala of the Vanguard is just on the far side of the room. The Vanguard's open to anyone who can fly. Stay safe. Nice! Sarah! Good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Oh yeah, man, this this looks really good, Tyler. I'm, I'm loving it. Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, a knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy getup of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first. Head down to the orientation hall. And get signed up at the registration terminal. System will walk you through the rest. Oh, and if you got a bounty? Well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can get you sorted. What can I do for you, applicant? Sure thing. What do you want to know? Vanguard work is as needed. 
When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the Science Division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional Terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous, but the Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. This is so cool. There's like so many different things that you can do in this. For the exam, we'll be putting you through a combat flight simulation. Let us see your piloting skills, evaluate how you behave under pressure, all without any risk of you inadvertently getting blown out an airlock. For the probationary mission, though, we'll be sending you out on a job all on your own. The specifics of the mission vary by what's available at the time, but we're not about to ask you to storm a Crimson Fleet base or whatever. At least, not on mission one. More likely you'll be making a drop off to some UC citizens in an area that's outside normal naval patrols. There'll be a risk of hostile contacts, but that's far from guaranteed. The exam's just a simulation. Only way you'll be hurt there is if you trip on your way inside. Now, for the probationary mission. We select those specifically to ease you into the type of work you'll be doing here. Make sure you're capable of handling things on your own. But I can't promise it'll be risk-free. The UC sends us on jobs because there could be combat. This mission would be no different. Now, if that's a deal-breaker, I won't be offended if you walk away. But this is the military. The chance of conflict is kind of in the job description. That's very true. Just hop into the elevator. You want the button for Vanguard Orientation Hall. Register yourself at the terminals in the lobby and the exam system will get you to where you need to go. I'll keep an eye out for your results. All right, let's do this. So I think I need to bring up the... Um... So there's the map. So, hold on. Let's jump out of here. I'll get used to this system and how everything works later. Missions. Alright, so we've got step one of joining register at the let's go ahead and equip it. Alright. Yes? You needed something? She's gonna be joining us, so... Alright, to register examination, please select... By joining the United Colonies Vanguard, you agree to perform necessary services for the United Colonies that could place you in serious danger, resulting in harm. Up to including death. <laughs> in exchange, the United Colonies agrees to compensation to their levels and the difficulty. All applicants will be required to earn a satisfactory grade on a simulation. Upon the completion of both prerequisites, the United Colonies agrees to sponsor your citizen application and guarantees the granting of United Colony citizenship once sufficient time or acts of valor have warranted it. Do you agree to the above commitments? You may proceed to the examination. Of the United Colonies. 
The effort and planning it must have taken to evacuate literally the entire planet. Can you imagine? The logistics alone must have been mind-boggling. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. I love all of this, man. The Centaurus proclamation has always left me torn. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House Varun first made contact with the rest of the settled systems. Founded by the passengers of a colony ship that had left New Atlantis and disappeared four decades earlier, House Varun was a faction unlike any other. A theocracy dedicated wholly to the beliefs of its isolationist founder, Janan Varun. House Varun initially made overtures of peace towards the rest of the settled systems. They claimed their only intention was to spread the word of their god, the Great Serpent. But none could have guessed that this worship might take the form of a bloody war. The Serpent's Crusade. The Freestar Collective was initially founded in 2188, when the citizens of Aquila banded together with the pleasure city of Neon in mutual defense. But in 21. Of a UC medical star station in orbit around their world, the citizens of Naria also requested to join the collective. The resulting rise in tensions between the Free Star Collective and UC culminated in the settled system's first intergalactic conflict, the Narion War. Despite a decisive victory by the UC, the colonies permitted the citizens of Narion to join the collective, forming the basis for the fiercely independent union that persists to this day. Don't be alarmed because I'm running around a little bit here and there, because uh, I'm trying to build up my um, weight carry capacity, so... This is so cool. You guys can pause this to read. Yeah, more interesting than actual history. <laughs> Beginning in 2240, House Maroon forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Over the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, UC, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their serpent god. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remains, however, select members of House Varun who refused to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification, a goal of all space. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. 
set off by the unauthorized Free Star colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Nereon Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bio-engineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. The colony war was a horrible conflict that irreparably wounded the settled systems. There were times I felt that it would never end. Settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the Free Star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. That's pretty cool. That pension doesn't go as far as it used to. But wandering around down here with a cup of coffee, hmm, there are worse ways to spend a couple hours. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city seemingly out of nowhere on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. Definitely get a Starship Troopers from this. After the devastation wrought by the Colony War, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces, and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. 
all were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. I was a strong supporter of the Armistice. All of the terrible things that both sides used against one another. It had to end. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls mean citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. <laughs> we just went through this whole museum, guys. Like, we just literally went through this whole museum. Let me run around just a little bit here. Gotta love RPGs, right? Gotta run around, get those stats up. Woo! Let that CO2 feel the burn. Almost there, 750. Time to do the simulator. Got something for me? I think it's time we went our separate ways. Talk to you later. I really I wonder if you can actually leave her and not have her in your party. Hey, hey Lucas, what's up, bud? Glad to see you back. We are about ready to do our pilot assessment here. spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. Oh, I will. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's Proctor! already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Of course. You'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that, and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala, Proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. Ah, uh, sorry to hear that they lost, bud. <clears throat> While I can't answer that question directly, I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. 
you're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B Deimos hoplite, the United Colony's standard destroyer model. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. Vanguard assignments can often include both space and ground combat. It'd be bad for both you and the United Colonies to not ensure you're adept in both capacities before sending you out on your first real assignment. All right then. All this is steel, so I don't want to necessarily steal. You see with that little red thing there? I think that's the icon for steel. So we're not going to steal anything, obviously. Um, but here we go, guys. Let's do this. A little quick save, and let's see how we do. Ding off right away. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. This is so cool. <laughs> oh my god, I never thought I'd be doing something like this. A freaking, I mean, come on. This, this game is something, man. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. I'm loving this. Look at this. How could you not?
Resuming the examination. New targets active. It's really smooth, yeah. Active. Ooh, that's where it gets hard. Press zero. Did it just stop? Yeah, I think it just stopped. I think I gotta get out now, yeah. Okay. That's alright, we did pretty good. Try it one more time. Simulation reset. Prepare for your first opponent. passing that crap yeah I don't think I'm gonna be passing that one that's pretty cool though Shut down. you're gonna have to be really really good to uh, to get all six congratulations applicant you've passed you can head up to commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. I'm good. Mm. So impressed with just how smooth everything is. It's nighttime now. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Me? Six, seven years now? Was a recon squad commander in a former life. So it wasn't too big a jump bossing around foreign pilots instead. But Vanguard's been a quality assignment. Meet new people, judge them on a series of diverse criteria, get them out there helping people who need it. Mass is short for Military Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. From here, the three co-equal divisions, be that through mutual defense, political and diplomatic strength, or scientific discovery. Now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, 
but scientific and admin positions in the UC tend to be real competitive. Understandable, most people would prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in combat. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but understandable. Military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the Vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it was the Vanguard's job to find them and get them to fly for us. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? I like the fire, applicant. Let's get into it. So, looking at the data? Hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. <laughs> standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. Ten years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? All right, let's let's do it. Why not? Hell, I did 21 years in the U.S. Army, so <laughs> I'm I'm ready to go. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? <laughs> then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau City 2. 
Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti II count on you? No major settlements on Tau Ceti. No real active industry, either. Doesn't make for a big target. It's got the potential to be a pretty quiet trip. But there's a reason they wrote Here Be Dragons on the map edge. So if it were me, I'd hope for the best and arm for the worst. And if for some reason you do run into trouble, don't forget, it's your job to protect those who need it. So, you ready to head out? That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Nice. Our first, I get this is still a part of the side content. We're kind of waiting till tomorrow before we get into the main quest, I think. I think that's best because tomorrow is going to be a long stream and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this is a stream where my normal audience doesn't have a chance to actually look. So. We did it! I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. We did it, ladies and gents. Now, once we get a skill point, we can rank up to level 2 and add an extra 25. What's the next requirement, though? Let me look. Doesn't say what it is yet, so... Hey, this is where we started, right? Where is the uh, trading terminal right here? It's gone. It's like they go down in the nighttime, I guess. I'm listening. Bring me anything useful. All right, let's trade gear. Okay, let's see. We probably got some stuff. Probably don't need. Maybe sort by weight. There we go. I'm going to trade her that. Trade her one of those. And these things. Let's. 
go out of there and then go into all. Sort by weight. I don't need the deep. I don't need this thing. I want to give it to her for now. It'll take a lot off constellation. There's the boost pack, so I'll need to equip that. And give her that too. Just remember that I'm giving her all this stuff, and also I think I can put some of it on my ship. Goodbye. Look at that, it's nighttime though. I haven't seen nighttime that much in this game. Man, look at the stars. It looks so good. This is uh this is not our normal ship, by the way. Is this a different ship? Bullet for leeches, get it fixed up and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Yes, the game is 60 FPS locked. I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. I'm sure mods will definitely change that sometime soon. Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Oh, so this is not my ship. Oh, I was thinking that was going to be my ship. I was like, cool, I got to go in here. Inaccessible, yeah. That makes sense why I didn't see the, um, the thing, because it's actually over here. My ship's over here. I wish they could separate things that you could use for crafting in the menu screen so you don't get confused. I can help you with? 
Can I help? Glad to haul whatever you need. Bye for now. I think that's good for now. I don't need the deep mining spacing helmet. Alright, I think that's good for now. Burden will get underway. I want to try something. Can you place this? That's what I want to try to find. Can I place stuff in my ship? See, I can- I can put it there, but I- I don't think I can just place it anywhere. I'll have to figure that system out, I think, um, to see if you can actually do those things. Let's go ahead and head to our mission, though. Oh. Might as well go ahead and... Alright, let's go. Okay, looks like we're landing on the night.
See, look, that's the that's the picture I took. The loading screens are like the pictures you take. I love it. I love that little detail. An abandoned meatpacking facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. It's breathable, so it's just essentially hiding the helmet. Does that mean I can get it or no? I guess not. I was thinking I could, but... I guess not. I don't think that's how it works. Okay. I was just trying to figure it out. Whose spaceship is this? I can't go in. The music changed. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Let's make sure I have this thing set right. Ooh, permanently grants a recipe for the deep food item. Nice. We know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. That's energy. Oh, look at that shoddy. That tells you what you can pick up and what you can't. I like that.
Might as well take what we can. Urban efficiency attire. Hold on, I need to equip... Constellation pack. Another knock-knock one. Okay. Man, you can even take the pool balls. Sheesh. It's just everything is freaking takeable and it's crazy. All right, upgrade weapons now. Okay, what weapon would I want to do this with? I'd like to take our pistol. Yes! I need Tatalim, Polymer, and Tungsten. It says I can track it, so... I can install a compensator on this right now. Oh, that should give your weapon a bit more punch. Can't get any sights on. I don't have enough for it, but I can track it, hopefully, and maybe that'll make it a little easier. And do another compensator, might as well. Um. Okay, I think that's good for now. Just testing everything out. It's pretty cool.
Yeah, I like it. I really do. I am a fan of this so far. All right, let's go. Wow, this place is huge. I'm going to save here just in case. There's a freaking scream. I don't know if I want to do this. It's going to be scary as hell. I don't know if it's her that that's that heard me. I'm sure they had something we can use. So what do we got here? Too clean to be one of the settlers or a pirate. Yeah, I'll do a photo mode in a second. See on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper up for a stroll. Eating cheesy <laughs> one handed. Actually, I was literally just eating Cheetos one handed about um, like 20, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Actually, the Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things were. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant's security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. 
Admin access is centralized to the terminal in this room. Nothing's coming back online if I'm not here. But even if that weren't the case, I'd likely be more of a liability out there than a help right now. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Alright. Just uh, do a little picture there. I like making pictures every now and then. Don't leave any of that behind. restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Not connected to this network. 
There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Hold on, what did she just say? I thought it said 183.5. Yeah, right there. Trackers reading green. And what's that sound? Security lockdown is active. This is amazing. This is so, like, in-depth. I'm just blown away. Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to becoming a vegetarian. Not sure what makes its home here, but we should keep our weapons at the ready.
Man, this is so intense. I'm loving it, man. It's this is so freaking intense right now. Power levels insufficient. Proceed to next power breaker. I think he just fell through the map. There it goes. Yeah. He fell through the map. This is so good. That was awesome. I didn't get to scan it though. I wanted to scan it, but. Oh my gosh, this was so good. I felt like this was a horror mission, man. <laughs> that was crazy. Hold on, there is. It's another creature out there too, but I don't think there's anything. Yeah, we can't scan it or anything. All right, let's go. You can see what's in here. Why can't I scan it? I guess I don't have the ability to scan. I ain't gonna take it out though. That'd be too mean. Frankenstein.
tracker's gone quiet. I suspect. Sorry about the shaking in the background. I think it's where she's standing. Wait, you did it, didn't you? Essence <laughs> above, you just flatlined a terror morph. Oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? <sighs> a lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on a ship. Then, we could start getting some answers about this thing. So, did you manage to nab one? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Heavy pistols, nothing heavy so far, I don't think. But we've we've I've seen about four or five different types of pistol types already. I do wish you didn't have to go into the inventory, set it up as a uh, a favorite to be able to cycle through them. I wish you could just click this thing here, and all of your weapons would be on like a wheel or something. But this is an RPG. I mean, that'd be asking probably too much um let's see we've got the elon right there and it's a modified elon because you put some extra stuff into it and then there's also the modifying solister which is an energy weapon deals more damage i can go ahead and favorite that and put that at number six i love you too josh thanks for uh, being here bud what you can do running basic diagnostics nothing maybe a flag scan no spectrograph damn this equipment it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample but this terramorph being here of all places it doesn't make There's sense. no frame drops at all. Humanity's spread plenty of That's probably like on internet stars. or Pest, YouTube. There's talk, none. Pests. I haven't had a single one yet. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies. Hold on a sec. I want to make sure. Is it not lag? You guys are not getting any lag, right? I just really, really, really want to make sure. That you're not getting any lag. I did pause that though for a second. Because someone said something about frame drops. I'm not getting any frame drops whatsoever, so that's why I was asking. Then this one. And they have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. 
It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was, long time ago, family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And... here. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Alright, there we go. 1800 credits. Return. Wow, this game has so much to offer, man. It's just massive, man. There's like... So many places for me to look to see if there's like other lootable items and and whatnot. All right, we just picked up a spacesuit that said it's a chameleon spacesuit. That one's still better though, it's a 69. But that looks pretty cool. All right. So remember, If you want to get out of here quickly. Remember, there's also other places you can go. There's a cave over there. But all you got to do is look here, look at your spacecraft, fast travel. See the convenience. Time for a nap before we leave. Look at this. We're already freaking in our ship and ready to go. The convenience of all of this is absolutely amazing. No, 
this is not a multiplayer game. To download it, you will need an internet connection. But this is a single player story. There is no multiplayer. See, I love this. You have to take some things out to give yourself just enough grav. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. Talk to Sergeant Yumi, the Lodge. See your parents? Ooh. They're at Pioneer Tower. Jay! I'm liking your playthrough. IG and GameSpot suck for their terrible reviews. Thank you so much, Jay. Um, you know what? People, they differ, whatever, but it did make sense that they weren't going to like it because the person they got that reviewed it already had criticisms about it before it even came out. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. I'm just here to show you the gameplay and you make that decision whether you like it or not. I love it. I'm going into this knowing what it is and what it isn't. And that makes it more enjoyable. This is not a space sim. Okay, it's not. You're not landing on planets. You're not traveling. You know, you're not doing all of that kind of stuff. You're landing on planets, but you're not doing it seamlessly. That's not the, the point of this. And I think a lot of people just fail to realize that. Now look at this, we literally just got to this thing. I mean, it's super quick. You can really get to each and every single part of what you're doing super quick. Look, we're already right here. You see this? Instead of going to the space station or the spaceport first and then traveling, you're already at mass. You can literally jump right there. It tells you the temperature, it's 21 degrees outside. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? A gene tag. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. <laughs> A lot of this data has been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? I... 
I see. This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. Two achievements, Duff off, Dust Off, Reach Level 5, and Supra at Ultra. Okay. Let's see, well, already can level up to 5, which means that we can get our weightlifting and carry more, so let's go ahead and do this. Two thousand five hundred meters. And we're very we're already almost there. What is weighing so much, man? It seems like everything we do we just keep can't seem to um <laughs> I have enough. Let's go ahead and do, let's see, deliver goods. Let's see, we did grunt work. Charge Yumi has asked me to work, a part-time security officer, straight to Asian Plato Mast. All right, those are the ones I've done. I'm going to save the parents thing for tomorrow. It's really good, right, Joker? It really is. So we can also do that while we're heading over to Mars. Let's see what this is. It's the mission board. Now, did you notice that my space thing looks different at the bottom left? It doesn't say CO2 in the oxygen thing anymore. Is that different or what? There it goes. Now it's switched back, so that was weird. Much as I'm eager to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Here's a mission board. I don't know if these are main missions or locate aeroform life, locate landmass, locate disease, locate extinction event, survey, potem and wolf. Man, there is so much. Wow. This is going to be one of those games, guys, that's going to take us quite a long time to play through, but. Oh my gosh, I'm just...
Oh, that's like a. Uh... Obviously, I'm not a master, so I can't do that. It's very easy to get distracted in this game. You can easily tell that, I think. What is the well? Where in the heck am I going, man? This place is huge. What the heck am I going? The heck is all of this? Oh, it requires. Okay, so whatever it is, we can't go. I mean, this is just a massive game, everybody. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. The hell? My father dropped by? That's awesome. We're obviously going to stop by... We still have so much, so much to do and see and learn. I wonder if any discovery reports have come in while we were away. Yeah, she's tagging along with me. I don't mind having her with me. I don't, I mean, it's going to just, it's going to help out. An extra, someone extra to help out with missions and stuff. I don't, I don't mind. It's just, there is so much to this. It's mind boggling. I, 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 I can't even fathom. I mean, no wonder a game like this takes so long to make for one. What's the industrial? Building structures and outposts. Okay. Game is really fun, yeah. Where did I put it on? I think I put it on six. There's a new weapon that we haven't tried out yet. All right. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this first stream. We did six hours of playing. And so we're going to start up at 10 a.m. here in just uh, eight hours or so. And uh, we're going to be going all day. So I hope you guys will tune in. We're, again, exploring everything, doing everything we possibly can. And I hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you for putting up with the first stream. For those of you that normally don't make it to a stream, because I normally don't stream during this time period, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you continue to check out the videos if you can't make it to the streams. Other than that, I will see you at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the next session in our Starfield playthrough. Love you all, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. And don't forget, 
check out our sponsor again. Uh, I'm going to play the video for you guys. It, she supports the channel a lot. Without her contributions, it would be very tough to do what I'm doing. So thank you so much to Elizabeth Vaughn. Check out our sponsorship and love you all and we'll see you next time. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by the book series Chronicles of the Warlands. There's a total of 10 books. This is the first book called War Prize. Definitely recommend you check it out. My wife absolutely loves these books. And if you have a significant other or maybe yourself likes to read fantasy style, then this is perfect for you. She's also working on a new series. We can't uh, put any details of that out just yet. She's going to be the sponsor for a while. So make sure you check out the books. I'll have the link in 